So I have here in TC26, and um, I first want to now go directly with um, the settings and check the MX version first. So we go to the settings app. Once we are in the settings app, we go to um, about phone. Once we are at about phone, there's a button called software components here. Once we click that, we get the version. So here in MX, so we see the version is 10.2. Yeah, and that's the important version. We need to make sure that the profile is also with tender two if we want to use it in stage now. With that, let's switch to stage now. So I have in Windows client, I've already installed stage now. So let's open it. I have already using stage now, so I have to first enter my pin. Once I click to that and I enter it, it takes some seconds and then I have my profiles here. As we want to create a new profile, so we go here to create new profile. Once we click that, it's coming up in pop up to select what we want to do. Make sure you have here the MX version that we saw formerly on the device selected. Now, as we don't want to um, use some of the pre-canned things like enroll to MDM and all that, we go with the expert mode where we can customize whatever is needed. So let's start with, um, with creating that new profile. So we just call it here in this case, demo underscore enroll underscore UEM. Um, be aware you can't use spaces here. So if you go with underscore, yeah. this is fully fine and click to start. Once we are here clicking to start, we then get to the new wizard here. So there we select what we want to do. In this case, we want to start with a wizard, which is in this case, the network, stage now network. So we just click the plus button. Then we go back to settings, go to the file manager. This is alphabetic order. So we go here with the plus. And then we go with application manager, so app manager. And then we go with the intent. If you want to install additional apps and all that, you can just add them here, but I just want to show the, the basic things here. So let's just add that intent here. There it is. So we make sure that first it's network, then file, then app, then intent. So we first configure the Wi-Fi network that the device has network. Then we download with the file manager from a public website, the hub. With App Manager, we install it, and with Intent, we set it as device owner and specify the enrollment credentials. So now let's click to add. It's loading, and then we can already configure the network. Now, with that, we just start and say, okay, the device is, or is I want to provision, and I don't have a network, but I want to use that um, yeah, for staging. So I just use that one. I want to use in this case, Wi-Fi. So I select the Wi-Fi. It's asking if I want to manage certificates and all that. No, for me, it's just a username. It's just an um, passcode Wi-Fi, so WPA2. Um, so if we want to disconnect from an existing network, as we don't have any, we don't need to. If we want to disable any existing Wi-Fi, no for our case. And if we want to add a new one, so we click to yes. So as we want to add a new Wi-Fi, it's then showing up. It's always taking a bit. Um, so there we enter the SSID. In this case, it's called my Wi-Fi. We enter the security mode. As I said, in my case, it's personal. It's um, WPA2. And the encryption type in this case is TKIP. So we just keep it as it is here. And then we scroll down a bit and enter the password. Well, so that, that's the password to connect to the Wi-Fi. So, and then we click to continue. In case of it has no DHCP or we want to use in proxy, we can also specify it here if required. Now, well, once we have added the network, we also want to connect to that. So that's the... Um, part where we the SSID is already preferred, so we don't need to put anything in there. We just keep it as it is. 
with that, we have now the device configured. We have it already um, there, the Wi-Fi. So we can start with downloading the hub application. So. So in this case, we first start with the um, target. In this case, it's slash SD card for the local storage. And slash Air, AirWatch agent APK for the APK file. As we have the file on remote server, so we can just click that three dots here say this is an external server and enter here the path. In this case, as you can see, I'm using the discovery URL of Workspace ONE. Now we can just copy over that. With that action, we have now um, locally installed, we've locally added the file to the device, but it's not yet installed. So that's the next one with the app manager. on the app manager, once it's loaded, we go here and say install, and we specify the path, huh, which is the slash SD card slash AirWatch agent. Once it is done, it is then um, also installed. So now we have it installed. So we want to make sure that it is set as a device owner. And also we want to make sure then that it's doing the configuration. So let's go with continue to do the intent. So now, as always, it takes some time here as well, but then we go with the action and they enroll as device a device owner. Now we need to enter the package name. While well, the package name is the app ID, in this case, com.airwatch.android agent. So we just enter that. So while the class is com.airwatch.agent.device administrator receiver, so we would now have set the device owner. So Workspace One Hub is the device owner, but as we also want to add some configuration to that, we can use a JSON file where we have to enter the path of the JSON file, or we can also use a JSON string, which is here directly having in that barcode the details for that. In this case, we want to, to go with that option. I have already prepared that, so I just copy it in. Um, as you can see, it has the password in, it has the username and group ID. And also if you go a bit to the left, it also has the server name in it. Yeah, so here is the server name for that. You can also add if you have, for example, AOSP and all that stuff, you can just add it here as well. So this is what you can configure. On my blog, I have that, um, that you can just copy it out what I used here. And with that, we can go to continue and then we are finished so with that. The device would be enrolled and it would be fully working. As we said, it's the expert mode. It's going showing also an overview as well. And then we can go here to complete the profile. Once we have completed the profile, we can use the 2D scan engine. So we just click it here, click to test, and then it's creating a barcode. As you can see, the barcode is now loading and you have the two barcodes here. Now we can scan them and enroll the device to Workspace ONE UEM. This was an overview of stage now with Workspace ONE UEM, how to enroll a device with barcodes.